Hey, what's up everybody? Out here, uh, North Florida Car Club, Jacksonville, Florida, 103rd Street. Once again, we are here for race number four of the season. Uh, this is a night race. Uh, big, uh, big turnout here today. Um, over 100 entries. Uh, so it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a fun day. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be able to finish, uh, finish my races today. That would be good. Um, so yeah, I got me, uh, what I ended up doing was, I uh, ended up, um, making some modif not modifications, just uh, adding a, a chain guide to my rear sprocket. Uh, hopefully that will, um, uh, help keep my chain on. Uh, so we'll see. But anyways, it's a beautiful day. It's a little on the cool side and it's really windy. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Clear skies, so uh, under the lights uh, racing tonight. So it'll be fun. Stay tuned. I'll um, I'll update you as to my progress. We'll be uh, starting qualifying here shortly, and uh, hopefully we'll see. Actually, no, we're not going. to Oh, wait a minute. This is qualifying. Qualifying or practice? I hope it's practice because we haven't practiced yet. <laughs> they said qualifying at 4:30. I think they meant practice. Um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it is practice. If it's, uh, if it is qualifying, uh, indeed, then, um, then yeah, I've got absolutely zero practice on this, uh, on this layout. Uh, so we'll, we'll see, but either way, we're just going to have fun, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can do better, uh, better. Well, if I finish today, then I've already done better than I did last, uh, last race. So it's all good. qualifying is done and uh, we have 35 entries today in our um, master's class uh, that is the most so far we've had um, so it's gonna be a packed field on the racetrack today um, but I did uh, I didn't do too bad um, I'm, I'm happy with the uh, way the carts uh, handling getting uh, getting better on this uh, on this layout seems I haven't I wasn't able to get out here any um, since last uh, race to practice any so um, I did qualify number 10, uh, so I am in the top 10 out of 35 carts. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty uh, stoked about that. So we'll see how I do. Uh, hopefully, um, I'm really not going to make any tweaks, uh, any changes on the cart. Um, it seems to be doing pretty good. The fastest guy, which is local racer Kalen, um, he's he, his fastest lap. He qualified uh, TQ, and um, he's a, a full second faster than me. Um, which is crazy, uh, crazy how he can put down uh, such fast lap times. Um, but anyways, it's going to be a fun race. It's going to be a packed house, and um, I'll look forward to it. I got some video of that one and uh, did pretty good this uh, this qualifying round. I was able to keep the cart on the uh, on the track, um, whereas in my practicing, a couple times I ran off the track, uh, being a little over aggressive and everything. So um, so yeah, we'll see how uh, we'll see how it goes, and we'll I'll keep you uh, keep you updated.
pre-final is done and um, I got some uh, I got some good news and I got some not so good news. Uh, good news, oh, my hair is just sticking up. Uh, the good news is I finished the race. <laughs> Chain stayed on and I finished the race. Didn't wreck out. Um, quite honestly, the uh, the cart is hooking up really nice. It's handling excellent. I got no, no issues with handling whatsoever. Um, but I started out 13th and I finished 19th. Um, problem is, is that I got the wrong gearing. Uh, going down the straightaway, man, everybody was just passing me. Um, so there's just no way I could have kept up with anybody, even in a draft. There's just no way because I kept uh, kept revving out, um, tacking out on the uh, on the straightaway, and people were just passing me up. Um, I lost I lost a bunch of positions uh, just on that straightaway. Um, so yeah, uh, so I uh, switched up my gearing, um, and we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, on the uh, on the final. But um, yeah, I'm all the way back in 19. I, just, I don't I don't know. Um, a lot of people on the track, and uh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of spots to make up. Uh, so, either way, I'm having fun. Um, the night is is beautiful. These lights are just awesome, and I mean, if you can see how how they are, um, the lights are awesome, and the track just looks beautiful. Um, you know, fortunately, the uh, the weather is it hasn't really cooled down a whole lot. Um, it, the uh, it's definitely the wind has definitely subsided, uh, which is nice. So. It's uh, it's made it really really comfortable out, but um, but yeah, very happy with the uh, the way the cart's running. Um, uh, engine is running excellent, beautifully, no issues there. Uh, handling wise, as far as the cart goes, uh, only problem I had was gearing choice, um, and uh, so um, so yeah, I probably should have uh, probably should have changed uh, changed gearing out um, during my uh, you know rest between my qualifying and my pre final. Um, but you know it is what it is uh, so anyways uh, hopefully um, hopefully I can make up a few spots possibly uh, my goal is to maybe finish in the top 15 in the top uh, top half of the field uh, there are 30 34 35 carts um, on the field today uh, excellent entry or excellent uh, turnout for a master's class so so we'll see how it goes um, but I'll keep you posted let you know how it goes guys well that is a wrap race number four is in the books uh, for the season here at North Florida Kart Club in Jacksonville Florida on 103rd Street I tell you what we went out with a bang that's for sure unfortunately I didn't get the race it was such a good race I was battling it out with uh, three or four other guys a lot of fun at one point we were three wide going down the straightaway towards the end of the race uh, what happened was and you'll see it in the video. That was a big mayhem. I mean, that the first, when we first started, um, just out, uh, somebody spun out, and everybody behind them, the whole field, you know, crashed. Uh, so they stopped the race, got everybody lined up again, and we had to restart. What happened was um, I paused my GoPro. My GoPro actually uh, times out after like I think two or three minutes, and it shuts itself off. So I went to uh, started to record again. And uh, it never, it never started recording again. So, unfortunately, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the race, uh, the final race on on video. Um, but we had a blast. It was fun. I didn't check to see where I, I finished. Um, I started 19th. Um, I may have lost a couple of spots. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, the cart was running good. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. 
Um, I felt like it was handling pretty good. Maybe it's just my driving sucks, <laughs> which is possible, I mean, you know. But uh, either way, it was a blast. I had fun. Um, guys, uh, the guys that I was uh, battling it out with, they also had fun, you know, so it was pretty cool. Um, but man, what a turnout we had here today, over 100 entries, and um, it was pretty awesome. A lot of, uh, a lot of national drivers here, a lot of uh, good, good drivers uh, showed up. Um, so they were uh, they were all battling it out, you know, in that top ten, top five, uh, but um, but yeah, so it was uh, it was a blast. Uh, I tell you what, wave <laughs> so much better when you actually feel good and you come out to a race. The last race that I was at, um, I just I didn't feel good for several different reasons. Um, I think I was still kind of a uh, a bit hanging over of some uh, some COVID, just some uh, who knows, but. I tell you what, it's a, it's a lot more fun when you feel good and you actually enjoy the day. And it was uh, racing under the lights at night. It's really awesome. So the rest of the uh, summer series, uh, the rest of the races from here on out uh, for the rest of the season, or at least until I think August or September, uh, they're all going to be night races. So uh, it's really fun out here racing at night. It's really cool. Um, so anyways, but I'm going to wrap it up. I'm already packed up, ready to head home. So we'll wrap it up. You guys will talk to you later. Have fun. Be safe. Take it easy. Hey, what's going on, everyone? So uh, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I just wanted to add a few comments um, about the day while uh, y'all watch some uh, extra video that I took of some um, of the nice carts uh, that showed up and the paint schemes. Um, but yeah, we had a uh, had an awesome day. Um, it, it was uh, to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a rundown as to what happened on the uh on the actual final heat um it was a like i said it was a great uh great battle um between me and uh three or four other guys that were running in in that group in in our group um <clears throat> we were uh, you know farther back in the field uh but yeah it was it was great it was a lot of fun um i i had a gearing change um i was able to you know i, I was able to get a, a faster top speed uh, if you noticed on that first um, first lap of the where the mayhem was, um, I was able to get the uh, top speed of 61. So um, I was able to get, but the problem was uh, was that my my uh, lap times did not get any better. Um, and so uh, I, I think um, I think it's a matter of finding the sweet spot between uh, between speed and torque, um, and also possibly. Um, you know, just uh, my driving style uh, and driving skills uh, too. But uh, but yeah, I I did not. Although I was able to get a faster top uh, speed uh, down the straightaway, my actual best lap time did not increase. Um, except maybe I think it was uh, five hundredths of a of a second. So really not not much of an improvement over my uh, pre final uh, run. Um, but <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a matter of, um, it's a matter of working to get that, uh, proper gearing down. So before the next race, which the next race is, uh, the first race of the, um, summer shootout series, uh, the race is going to be the exact same layouts, uh, same direction as we did this past race. So I'm definitely going to get out there, uh, one of these weekends. We got several, several weeks before that, uh, race, which is coming up the end of May, um, so I got plenty of time to get out there back on the track and, uh, and put down some laps and see if I can get a better gearing, um, uh, actually dial in my gearing, uh, a bit better. Um, but yeah, once again, it was, it was a blast, uh, no matter what position I, I end up in. Um, like I said, I was feeling good. It was great. It was a great night. Uh, and, um, and I can't wait to, uh, can't wait to race under the lights again, but, uh, thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. Uh, and y'all take it easy, and I hope you enjoyed the video.